narrow, elongated, and bilaterally symmetrical, and dorsal ventral flattened. The cockroaches are these cockroaches are omni omnipresent. That is present everywhere. That is all over the world, and it prefers damp and moist places or the services to live. It is omnivorous organism and nocturnal cursorial insect. That is the fast runners and rarely a resource to flight. The body is elongated. The adult measures about twenty-eight to forty-five millimeter, forty-four millimeter in length and eight to ten millimeter in width. The color of this organism is shining reddish brown with pale yellow area around the edge of the tergum or prothorax, and they are having two dark patches. on the body so when we see the systematic position of this organism this organism belonging to the kingdom animalia the phylum of cockroach is arthropoda class is insecta genus periplanata and the species is the americana so this is a periplanata american americana that is the cockroach we can see uh, the shape and size of this organism the cockroach has elongated and bilaterally symmetrical and dorsal ventral flattened body the adult measures about 28 to 44 mm in length and 8 to 10 mm in width they are triploblastic organisms eu coelomate organisms having Truly segmented body, and the body cavity is called as hemosole, and this body cavity of or the hemosole is filled with hemolymph type of fluid. Cockroach is a shining reddish in color, shining reddish brown in color, with pale yellow edge, and having two dark patches on the body. then the body of this organism is covered external by a non living material non living brown colored hard and jointed chitinous exoskeleton body is covered externally that is having exoskeleton which is the cuticular exoskeleton and it is covered external by a non living brown colored hard and jointed chitinous exoskeleton body is enveloped by the exoskeleton again the body of this organism is divided into three regions so let us see in the diagram so the body of this organism is divisible into body of cockroach is divided into three segment that is head thorax and abdomen body is divided into three part that is head thorax and abdomen the head of this organism so the head of this organism is the outermost part of the body which is a small and roughly triangular in structure or pear shaped and it is held right angle to the body to the long body held the head is held at right angle to the body and and this head is formed by the fusion of six embryonic segments again this head is connected or attached to the thorax or the body anteriorly by a short and narrow neck and head can be moved by any direction in different directions with the help of the neck so the head is connected with the body with the help of the neck and neck is useful for the movement of the head in different directions again this whole head is covered by a number of chitinous plates which is called as sclerites 
So the head is covered by the exoskeletal protection, and this exoskeleton is made by cartilage plates, or also called as sclerites, and also called as head capsule. The exoskeleton of the head is also called as head capsule. Our head capsule is a protective covering of the head of the cockroach, and uh, the their fused margins of this sclerites are visible as lines called as sutures. The topmost part of the head, as the top is called as vertex of the head, is formed by two epicranial plates and jointed in front by inverted Y-shaped structure. Then this head having some appendages. The head bears number of jointed appendages. On each dorsolateral side of the head, there is having a pair of compound eye. So the appendages of the head, when we see the appendages of the head, there is having on each dorsolateral side of the head, there is having a large pair of compound eye. Just in front of each eye, having a long, slender, and multi-segmented antenna. Towards the head, in front of each uh, each compound eye, there is having a long, slender pair of multi-segmented antenna, and to the inner base of this antenna is having a small, rounded, whitish area, which is called as fenestra, and representing this fenestra representing the simple eye. Lower end of the head bears the preoral cavity. Or the mouth, lower side of the head having preoral cavity, or also called as mouth, and this mouth is surrounded by mouth parts. There is having the mouth parts like labrum, mandibles, maxillae, labium, and hypopharynx. So such a head with mouth parts is directed downwards is called that condition is called as hyponatus condition. Hypognathous condition is found in the cockroach. Next part of the body that is called as thorax. This is the middle region of the body and it consists of three segments. From the anterior side to the backward that is prothorax. Second middle part of the thorax that is called as mesothorax. And last part or a posterior part of the thorax that is called as metathorax. So prothorax, mesothorax, and metathorax, these are the three parts of the thorax. And this thorax also having exoskeleton, protected by exoskeleton. That is exoskeleton or the protection or the envelope of the thorax is called as the dorsal side of this, uh, the plate, dorsal plate of this exoskeleton of the thorax is called as tergum. Dorsal plate of the thorax is called as sternum, and the ventral plate of the thorax is called as sternum. That is, thorax region is protected and enveloped by dorsal side by the plate, particular plate that plate has called as sternum, and ventral side of the plate, exoskeleton, exoskeleton <coughs> sorry, exoskeleton part, or the plate of the thorax that is called as the sternum. So this each thorax again made by or bearing, they are having different pairs of walking legs. So each thorax segment bears ventrally walking legs, while the mesothorax and metathorax bears wings. So from the mesothorax and metathorax, from mesothorax and metathorax, there is having each pair of wings dorsally and also to the thorax there are having jointed walking legs. Next part that is called as abdomen. This abdomen is a posterior region of the body and is a broader region, broader region and abdomen of adult consists of 10 segments. So in this diagram there is like one, first, second, three, 
5, 6, and again here I have 7, 8, 9th, and 10th segments. So, abdomen of the cockroach having are made by the adult, uh, abdomen of the adult consists of 10 segments. And again, this abdominal part is also, also protected by the exoskeleton. So, exoskeleton of abdomen segment consists of dorsal plate that is called as sturgum and the ventral part, ventral plate of this uh, body of the exoskeleton which protects the abdomen that is called as sternum and turgum of the seventh segment here, the turgum of the seventh segment overlaps eighth and ninth segments. Turgum, the plate, exoskeleton plate of the abdomen Turgum of the seven segments overlap to those of eighth and ninth segments, and tenth tenth turgum projects behind a deeply notched bifid plate. So the tenth segment having this uh, this type of bifid plate, and anus lies below the tenth turgum. Anus lies below the tenth turgum. Then this abdomen also having some appendages. And with the help of the abdomen, we can differentiate the male and female organisms of the cockroach. So, 10th segment, 10th plate, 10th segment in the both the sexes bears a pair of small and filamentous sensory anal serous. So, 10th segments from the 10th segments projecting out a finger like projection that finger like structure that is called as anal serous. These anal serous are found in both the segments. So each anal serous is made again by 15 segments. This anal serous is made by small segments and the segments having the number having 15. But in case of male, in case of male, ninth sternum having an additional structure in male, ninth sternum bears a pair of short unjointed thread like anal styles. So anal styles is only present in the female in the male. Anal styles is present only in the male but absent in the female. Again in female the female abdominal region is broader than the male. With the help of this anal style and broader part of the abdomen we can differentiate male and female cockroach from one another. So again This is all about this structure of this uh, morphological structure of cockroach. So again having some information about this. So we can see this uh, information will, which is already discussed. Huh? So in case of male, ninth sternum bears a pair of anal styles. With the help of this anal style we can differentiate male and female organisms. But the tenth turgum of in both the cases, in the both the sexes, having anal serai. And this anal serai is made by 15 segments. So this, this is the information about the external characteristics of the cockroach. So thank you once again for watching this video.